First, everyone got a partner, a piece of paper, and a pen and sat back to back. One person talked about a conflict in their life while the other person listened, and then they switched. When they were done, the other person wrote three keywords about their story. Next, they gave their keywords to their partner. During the time with my partner, I definitely felt a sense of connection. Being a student here, it's easy to think when you're going through something um, like a conflict in your life that you're the only one going through something. My partner had a different situation than me, but I felt a sense of connection because she was also balancing our school and her everyday life as a student while battling these conflicts as well. I, I felt kind of relieved just to know that someone else was going through something that me, kind of relieved, a little bit of pressure, it just gave me a time, a chance to vent a little bit. Using the keywords, they wrote a sentence for each word. Finally, we got together and read the sentences aloud. Some themes that occurred, people definitely showed their humorous side, making jokes, and I thought that was definitely awesome. You can find humor in conflicts. Definitely was themes showing what people liked. It relates to peace building and art for two reasons. For one, whenever you can create something that is called art, you know, the creation of something is a process. And the process of, of something being created is art. And it's related to peace because whenever you can come together and figure out a way to distract your mind from a conflict to not necessarily solve a conflict, but bring peace to a conflict by venting, talking to a person about it, writing about it, and then coming together and basically making a poem in sequence. I think that that is a form of peace, and I think everyone left here a little more relieved, a little more um, happy, a little less tense.